years ago, a mobile application Yindi launched a mission amidst the COVID-19 crisis. Yindi has been created to tackle food waste in Thailand by selling surprise eatables that were simply too good to end up in the trash, but needed to be consumed before the day ended. The food came from bakeries, local food corners, fast food joints, hotels, and supermarkets. So we started Yindi two years ago um, in the middle of the COVID situation. Um, what happened is a lot of tourists were not coming in to Thailand and we've seen a lot of hotels that were that had a lot of food, a lot of uh, restaurants um, that needed you know to find a way to get rid of their surplus stock right and so Yindi came uh, quite naturally into into the way um, as a way to say if you are a restaurant, a bakery and you have from time to time leftovers um, use the app, give a discount to consumers, and they will come and, and, and get the food at the end of the day. Um, so it's been two years, it's been a great journey. Um, it's, uh, I think it's very new in Thailand. What we're doing is, is very innovative. Um, so it took us a bit of time to, um, uh, I would say, to, to grow. The UNEP Food Waste Index Report 2021 shows that in Thailand, household food waste is estimated at 79% a year. Studies by the Thailand Development Research Institute showed that the main culprit is the lack of a waste sorting system. The Bangkok Metropolitan Administration is able to recycle only 2% of the food waste collected. Despite being a haven for foodies and street food, Thailand's food waste problem is on the rise. Tons of good, edible food are being thrown out every day. Yindi is currently the only food delivery application that saves food from being wasted. So on the app for every meal that you save, you're actually um, offsetting 2.5 kilograms of CO2 from going to the atmosphere. So now we have not only a way to, um, I mean, we have a way to measure uh, by saving food um, and offsetting that, um, that carbon footprint to people so that you can be now a food hero fighting for the planet through our apps. And I have the feeling that in Thailand, when you want to be a little bit more sustainable, um, there's not much option on things to do, right? Uh, you can try to reduce plastic, but you still love delivery, right? And it's very complex to reduce plastic. So you can, okay, uh, refuse straw, use a refill, uh, uh, and don't ask for plastic bag. Yindi started out with two participating stores in 2020 and is currently partnering up with 200 stores. More luxury brands and big supermarkets are joining the scene. We started with two stores uh, back in 2020, uh, and we have now 200 stores, right? Um, so more and more uh, partners, luxury brands, uh, big supermarkets are realizing how much they're losing um, in terms of, uh, of money um, by throwing it in the trash. Well, this food is still edible. Um, and at the same time, more and more um, people and brands are, are realizing that it's important um, not to throw away food. Many of us might be familiar with yellow tag foods in supermarkets that are selling at half price, being a great discount for food that's about to be thrown away but is still edible. And one of the biggest partner we, um, or category we created at the end of last year was supermarket. Right? Um, supermarket is one of the, um, the places where you will see in terms of, of amount, the most amount of, of food wastage. Right. Um, and it, it's a very complex world, but what we wanted to try is start a discussion with the big players, right? So we've started a project with, with Central uh, Food Retail, uh, with um, Tesco Lotus and with Gourmet Market um, and started piloting in some stores uh, to kind of show, okay, first the operation is easy and look, you have a lot and let's try to find a way to, to make it appealing for the consumers, right? Um, it was difficult at the beginning because grocery is not as sexy as a, a bakery buffet, you know. Uh, but we find some, some, some ways to make, it, to make it appealing and invite consumers to do it. Food waste laws and policies in Thailand might need to change to make it easier or provide protection to retailers from lawsuits. Offering incentives such as a tax reduction might also attract more interest from the private sector to join the battle against food waste. 
The Thai government has issued a 20-year strategic plan for pollution management, with the target of reducing 59% of food waste by 2030.